What's up guys, Aiden here, Ace on Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, you guys are not ready for what we have coming down the pipeline. Me and Sam Norris with Progressive Lawn Service did our yearly collab, and boy, did we put together a good job. Last year, we did a big mulch job. It wasn't actually a nice day, it was pretty crappy. We got some rain in the morning. It was a big mulch job. I think it was 12 or 13 yards, big cleanup. I'll leave that linked in the top right-hand corner. You guys can check that one out. But it was a beautiful, sunny and 80 some degrees today and it's like october 15th so that was awesome anyways enough talking and let's roll that buttery b-roll of the day that sam norris and i put together an awesome landscape for one of my clients let's do it All right guys, so I am currently standing in the garage because it's a little windy out here and uh, you guys will pick up on all the wind noise so I'm trying to keep it as quiet as possible. I just wanna keep it down on that wind noise so you can hear me as best as possible. Anyway guys, as you can see, the project is coming together pretty well. We got all of our plants installed, our beds prepped. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention with that first time lapse you guys saw, that one bed where Sam and I were edging it out, there was landscape fabric under there. So when you saw us pull the grass all the way back, we were literally just pulling sod right off of landscape fabric. So in that purpose with mulch, uh, weed barrier fabric never works. It only works with stone to keep the weeds from growing in the stone and the dirt and the stone from mixing. So I don't recommend it in uh, a mulch purpose, you know, for using it with mulch or whatever. But uh, yeah, as you can see, everything's coming together really nicely. Here in a minute, we'll walk through the whole job. We got a little bit more planting to install. Super simple job. I wanted to mention my third guy, Josh, while we were doing this whole thing, was running three yards of topsoil we had dropped in the driveway to the backyard to do some grading around the patio and up top in the backyard to finish everything out so we could seed and straw everything. As well as the side yard, he was doing a little bit of the same thing. So we'll show that at the end of the video. Got some pictures, not totally sure I have some footage of that. If I do, yeah, I don't have any, sorry. We got pictures of it, a little bit of end walk around footage that you guys can check out. We'll keep going on the video, but yeah, it was a great day too. Nice and cloudy, you know, not sunny. We weren't sweating or anything like that. So that was awesome. So we'll get right back to the video uh, with Sam and I planting the rest of the plants. Let's do it.
the seed down. Sam's pulling up. We're going to load up the debris. Got a fresh landscaping put in. Man, it looks so good. We got some Green Mountain boxwoods, Winter Gem boxwoods, Osmanthus, uh, Lusheki, I think it is. Same thing on this side. And then some kind of sudden grasses around the rock. And it looks really, really good on this house. Really, really nice. We got Josh leaving. We got. It. Looks good. And that right there is exactly where my camera died. <laughs> I got a couple pictures I'll show you right now. We'll put them up on the screen of the topsoil and grading work we did around the backside of the patio that I was talking about. You can kind of check that out. And then up at the top of the hill, I'll put a couple pictures of that up, as well as when we were hauling all the stuff off up top, put a couple pictures of that up. No video. Guys, if you want to check out the full before and after photos, uh, go to my Instagram page, uh, A's Lawn and Landscaping, and you can find the post. It's so awesome. Sam, me, Josh, we did a great job on that job. I'm super impressed with all the help I had. It was awesome. Shout out to Site One Supply for supplying the awesome plants. Well, I bought them, but they supplied it. Um, and we got these awesome eight foot tall green giants here that my dad recently bought from site one and we had planted to replace some really big Leland Cypress we had here that died out and we got a couple hollies I'm not sure if you could see them right there one there we got one there and one up there but yeah turned out really good so there you go coming to you with the last second of daylight we got here to close out the video hope you guys enjoyed Got lots of stuff coming down the pipeline, more landscape renovations, even though we're closing in on the end of October. I've got, I don't know, three, four more planting jobs I want to get done. So if you guys want to stick along, stay tuned for the transformations. Let's do it, guys. With that, I'm Aiden from Maison Landscaping. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.